this is Louise here for MMA Crazy TV. We're here with Chris Beale. Chris, uh, how did it feel getting that title knockout of the year for ESPN? Uh, amazing. I'm still living it up. Um, just all the hard work and dedication I have and not giving up and just keep pushing through. It, it, it paid off and I'm glad people got to see that and appreciate it. And uh, that's a great honor to have under my cap. You're fighting on Europe's biggest card. How important is that and how exciting is it for you? Uh, it's very exciting. Uh, every fight is important um, and this is the next one up so this one is very important to me. Um, I'm trying to get to 11 and 0. That would be a nice, nice uh, way to kick off the new year for me and uh, that's what we're going to go out there and try to do. So you're facing Neil Siri. What do you think of him as an opponent for you? Uh, as an opponent, I think he, he's a great opponent, great matchup for me, uh, I, and I believe I'm a good matchup for him. Uh, he likes to bring it, I like to bring it, we'll see who boxing style is better, who strand ups better. Uh, I think I'm a better MMA fighter than he does, he probably thinks he's better than me, but uh, at the end of the day, there's only one way to find out, and I can't wait to get in there and find out. So how have you been preparing for him? Uh, nothing in particular for him, I've just been doing what I do, what, what I've been doing, I got me 10-0, uh, doing my striking, my wrestling, my jits, uh, my cardio, everything, so uh, I don't think I really need to prepare for him, he better prepare for me more or less. Do you feel like the underdog coming into this fight? Uh, yeah, I guess it all depends who you, who you ask. To me, I feel like I could beat anybody and everybody on any given time. So even if I am the underdog, I never feel that way. I, I train hard, I'm well prepared, and I'm well equipped with my tools. So I just can't wait to get in there and show him and everybody else that I'm the man. What advantage would you say that you have over him? Every. Every advantage. Uh, yeah, every advantage. I don't think it's one place that he's going to beat me. How do you see the fight unfolding on Saturday? Uh, with well, my hand raised. With my hand raised. And I know, I'm not sure if he get knocked out or if he gets submitted or if we go to the decision, but with my hand raised, that's definitely how I see it. Do you have a game plan, uh, game plan going into Saturday? Uh, to fight. That's my game plan. So uh, when I keep that game plan, no matter what happens, that's, it always works for me. You just got to fight, and that's what I plan to do. And how are you finding Stockholm? Uh, Stockholm is nice. Uh, it's been cool. I, I've only been out here for about a day, two days so far. So uh, so far so good. A little cold, but I got a nice coat. So having a good time. Are you adjusting to the time differences? Okay. Uh, I'm not really trying to t adjust the, the time difference because uh, we're going to fight more on my time. So I'm just waking up when I wake up and sleep when I'm tired. Do you think you might have an advantage? Obviously, he's going to have to change his time differences because he's going to be fighting very late. Do you think maybe that is an advantage for you? Uh, maybe, but I mean, he's 14 and 10. He's very, very experienced. So uh, uh, he's not going to see anything new. I'm, th I'm sure he's going to be ready and prepared for this. Is, but uh, I'm excited. We look forward to seeing your fight on Saturday. Thank you very much.